Today we are talking about something really fun, which is the ventral vagal nervous system state, which is also known as the state of being regulated. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is not just a state of relaxation. Yes, this is the state where we rest, digest, heal, and this is where our thoughts are super clear and we are really connected with ourselves, um, but it is not just a place of relaxation. It is actually a place of resiliency and adaptiveness. And this is the thing with the nervous system. A lot of the times there's this big misconception in the personal development world that we have to be like chill and relax. And yes, there is a sense of that, but what you'll see in this state is actually a lot of adaptiveness and a lot of resilience. And a lot of being able to handle challenges and rise to it as they come. So this is not like a passive, like I'm going to relax and get my nails did type of state. It is a state of strength and power. And there is going to be effort within this, um, within the state, but an effort that is a very adaptive, that is very, very good for us. So let us talk about this state and I, a lot of the times um, you will see this traditionally taught as safety. Now, this is not just a thought perception of safety. A lot of the times, most of the time, we know that we are safe, right? We are like, yes, I am safe. I am here at the present moment. But when we look at our behaviors, our actions, our thoughts, it tells a different story. I know a lot of people who are like, I am in the state all the time, but when you watch their behaviors, you observe how they talk to themselves, it's far from the truth. And again, this is not to criticize, this is neither right nor wrong. We are all striving to get better, right? And so pointing out the toxic positivity is very, 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 very crucial in this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share my screen with you to actually show you what the ventral vagal state is which is what we see here so when we are in our ventral vagal state again this is the state where we rest digest and heal this is the state where we want to be we're where we want to be in the most during the day and so be honest with yourself with regards to seeing this how often are you here in the day uh, inside the bulletproof nervous system and in in any of my nervous system courses, I talk about being in the state, but it's not about being in here 100% of the time. There are going to be times when it is actually good for us to be in fight or flight, believe it or not. There's actually times where we need to shut down when we need to stop and freeze. There is a time and place for that. And an adaptive nervous system is a nervous system that can go in and out of the survival states without being stuck in it. This is the biggest thing. And this is what I teach. Uh, and so in the ventral vagal state, we know that we are in here in the state if we can find that our muscles are relaxed, braced, and our breath feels full. And this is especially true in our upper body. When we are in a sympathetic nervous system state, all of our muscles here in our face, in our jaw, in our neck, around our trapezius, and even in our chest and uh, upper back gets very, very tight. And so if you're finding a lot of tension in this area, you are not in the ventral vagal state, which is fine. That is part of the process. So just be aware of that. What are your shoulders doing? Are they up here? You're, you're clenching your jaw. That means that you are in more of a sympathetic nervous system state. So you would then need to downregulate here. And how you know that you're here is you feel some ease within the muscles, some softening release. Your breath feels full and you feel connected to yourself and your other and others. And you find that you recover best even, you know, after a tough workout or an injury, or if you went through um, a run or something like that, you are able to recover fast. This is when you know that you are optimized in this state. And feeling connected with yourself means that you know exactly uh, what your opinion is with regards to a certain matter, you know um, how you feel about situations and you're not easily swayed by the people on the internet. So a good test of this is that if you are, you know, scrolling around Facebook or Instagram or whatever you are, someone gives you uh, an opinion that or a view that you might not even agree with or 
it doesn't really sit right to you, it contradicts with your personal beliefs, how do you respond to that? Um, do you easily get swayed in their direction? Do you get defensive? Um, do you like shut down and don't even listen to the person? Uh, do you think ill of them? What is that like? If you're in the ventral vagal state, then you can, um, and it goes through here as well, you can see facts and reality. You can look at the option and say, I agree with this, but not that. This is mean that it means something about the person. And you're able to rationalize and logically even and even be open to having your opinions change about the matter without it feeling like there's something wrong with you or there's something wrong with the other person. This is the optimal ventral vagal state and your thoughts are clear, they're coherent. You're able to see facts and reality. So for example, you had a sales call with a potential client and you thought it felt real. Uh, it felt really well. You communicated with the client. It sounds like a great client. You both are a good fit for each other. And maybe they said no, no right now, right? Um, and how you know you're in the ventral vagal state is if even though they said no and you felt some normal disappointment, you are able to immediately get back to having options and choices instead of going in the rabbit hole of, oh my God, everyone hates me um, or I suck at this, like this is not good, like I really thought this is not for me instead of going into that rabbit hole if you are definitely in the ventral vagal state, then you can see things exactly where they are. You can accept the fact that it is disappointing because there is a normal feeling of disappointment for not closing someone. And But you can also at the same time be able to look at that experience, learn from it, um, and still continue to get better without beating yourself up. That is the biggest difference. And a lot of people um, would describe being in the state as flow, like their energy levels are very flowy, they're very steady, they can go back and forth in terms of being able to like go and take action and also ease down and relax uh, as needed. So it's a great um, harmony between knowing when to step on the gas and knowing when to break. And so this is a great state to be in. A lot of people also say they feel very creative in this um, in this area, whether it be the arts, whether it be whatever their craft is. This is the state of creativity, which is, as we can see here, a very, very great um, place to be in. It's a very good state to be in. And again, how I teach is to be in this room for as long as you can. We are going to get dysregulated. Even at this time, we get dysregulated. I got dysregulated this morning, and I'm not going to lie about saying that that's not going to happen, even though I teach this stuff, right? It's not about avoiding dysregulation. It is about coming back to regulation when you are dysregulated. That is the biggest key. That is the biggest um, shift. Uh, and that is what I teach because it can get so um, overwhelming sometimes when we go into these personal development uh, type courses and we're like, we're supposed to be grateful all the time. Actually, I teach the exact different thing. Yes, gratitude is important, but at the same time, like the example that I mentioned earlier about being disappointed, disappointment, disappointed, we're not closing a client, that is a normal valid feeling to have. And it is allowing yourself to be in that state of disappointment, knowing when to process it, being okay with that pain of disappointment. And then because you were able to process that, then go back into the state of this ventral vagal state and being able to then learn from it adaptively. You're not going to go into the depths of this pair for five days and no longer put yourself out there during that time, which is more dorsal vagal, um, or you don't get like overly defensive and be desperate. And the next sales call, you get too attached and scare that next client off. It is not about that, right? It is about just accepting it about it is about learning about the disappointment it is being okay to be like you know I, I'm I and being honest with yourself and saying you know I really fucked that up like there was a moment in time in that conversation where when I completely just fucked that up that is fine 
I am still learning. I'm going to move forward. This is what I'm going to do moving forward. That is going to take you further in terms of growth and development than the toxic positivity of I I'm beautiful and all the time and sunshine and rainbows and blah, 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 blah. That is not really going to be helpful for you because when whatever you're feeling, whatever that trigger is, whether you get triggered into defensiveness, it's the sympathetic nervous system state, whether you get triggered into shutdown and freeze and no, don't want to actually move on and move forward, that has a lot of power in it. And if we avoid that, we are missing out on wonderful wisdom that we could learn for ourselves. And so this is what the the um, concept uh, of nervous system work that I teach is. Um, and to be honest with you, going through this approach and seeing it in that way has allowed for more growth because I am not denying the normal human experience. I am not gaslighting myself into saying that I shouldn't feel or think this way when a lot of the times it is valid to feel negative emotions. It is valid to feel disappointment, to feel sad, to feel angry about things. It is valid to feel very depressed and exhausted after a while. Like that shit is normal. It is all about us bringing back or bring ourselves back into this moment of ventral vagal that actually matters. So what is your thoughts what are your thoughts with regards to this type of approach is this how you're approaching uh, time these days is this how you're already responding to the challenges around you let me know and i will see you around